Okay, here we are with New York Post columnist and host of Piers Morgan Uncensored on YouTube, Piers Morgan. Provost of King's College, Cambridge, and columnist for the Financial Times, Jillian Tett, and he's the iconic actor who is the subject of the new documentary, You Can Call Me Bill, out in theaters now. William Shatner is over here again. Back by popular demand. These are all going to be for William Shatner. I don't know, why, what, I don't know what we're all doing here. We can uh, all compete with space. No, you can. What are your feelings, Bill, about AI? Oh, good question. Are you optimistic about how it will change our lives? Uh, it's all artificial. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to change everything. It's changed everything. It's changing everything. It's has changed. Already, yeah. It will change. And will it come alive and, dis and, and, and destroy us? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jillian, what are your thoughts on Harvard and other elite institutions reinstituting this SAT as an admissions requirement? Oh, this is right up your alley. Yeah, absolutely. Provost. I think it's a great idea because actually all the evidence shows that you get a much fairer system with SATs compared to the alternative. It was crazy to get rid of them to yeah. begin with, was it yeah, not? Yeah, absolutely. Why did they? Because they were trying to use other ways to get more diversity. I've got two uh, grandchildren are trying to get into college. It's ridiculous. No, it it's was... It's yeah. ridiculous. The whole, the whole system of college administration is ridiculous. The, uh, the short answer is, after 2020 and the George Floyd murder, America never reacts, it only overreacts. And that was one of the overreactions, was, as you said, in the name of diversity, let's get rid of testing. If blacks don't do as well as whites on this, we get rid of the... And that's not... It's not helping anybody. Well, it just promotes... It's, it promotes a mediocrity rather than saluting and embracing excellence. And the moment that's you That's a really that, good point. Then you think, as a country, yeah. if, you, if you go down that road, that way, ruin lies. You know, the countries that you're competing with do not do that. You think in China they do this? But of course they don't. But let's get real. The other issue, the huge issue, perhaps the worst issue of all, is legacy. And that's what really skews the system. And so it's an overreaction against legacy. And you're talking about legacy bad. admissions? Yes, legacy admissions. Of course, admissions. that should go too. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, I think they're, they're starting to do that, finally, yes. If you're some rich asshole whose father bought a... and your, mm -hmm. your father's name is on a building, I mean, you got into that school, and, and probably a lot less than that got you into school's legacy. They, they, for a, I think for a long time, they didn't even try to hide it. I mean, that was, and, and of course, that's just as wrong. Okay, uh, Bill, do you think the government is hiding evidence of alien life? They seem to think of you as somebody who's an expert on space. <laughs> so. That's because I am. <laughs> I know, but you know. Why would they? How could they hide? They can't hide uh, a budget uh, aberration. <laughs> well, why would they hide uh, oh. this little yellow guy comes out of a ship? You know, <laughs> put him away. Uh, it's ridiculous. Well, they're not yellow. They're green. You, <laughs> you should know. I, I'm not wearing glasses. Okay. You are. Right? You should know because you kissed one of those too. <laughs> I, I gotta say, they do taste differently. You gotta. <laughs> You got a lot of tail on that show, I, I gotta <laughs> say. Uh, well, I, I disagree with you. I, th I think... I, I'm not saying there's aliens among us. Uh, I'm not saying there's not. Uh, I, I think... What are you saying? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying I don't know. And you don't either. I do know. You don't know. Well, they, it's impossible. They it's can't so... hide the... There's nothing unscientific about it. Don't you think an alien invasion would be the only thing that could actually unite Democrats and Republicans? No. <laughs> they can no. come together and no, fight. No, in fact, I did a whole piece about that. It's in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And the point of it was, like, in the past, always I would have said that. And now, absolutely not. Are we sure, would, are we sure Marjorie Taylor the, Greene is not an alien? <laughs> <laughs> The first thing, if, if Martians landed, the first thing the Republicans would say would be, Biden. <laughs> this never happened under Trump. <laughs> really, I don't even think that could unite us. Um, okay, so how will uh, persistent inflation affect Biden's prospects this fall? Badly. Mm. 
Duh. Does it counteract all the other positive economic news? Well, you know, every time I point out the positive economic news, somebody yells at me in some sort of... But somebody wait a write minute. something wait like, oh, sure, it's fine for you, Bill Maher, with your private jets. Yeah, but... It... <laughs> what is inflation? I mean, how, how high does inflation have to be before it's inflation? It's, it's when eggs cost more. It's what? It's when eggs cost more. That's, well, that's what people are upset eggs. about. I know, but uh, uh, salaries are going up, too. Yes, they it, are. It's a, it's a uh, peculiar situation. It, there isn't, well, it isn't that bad, and they're just making it sound bad. Don't say that. They'll yell at you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't want to say that. No, no. no what they, you mean to say is... They only yell at you when you define who they is. <laughs> no. No, what you really want to say is, like, everybody should be a millionaire, and everybody should. Mm. No, I agree. I mean, it's... Look, I've been rich and I've been poor. Being rich is better. All right. <laughs> um, so, uh... Should Democrats demand that Justice Sonia Sotomayor retire while Biden still has time to find a replacement? Mm. Well, I don't know if you can demand. Definitely. Also, he has it to will... live long yeah. enough to do that. Right? Well, sorry, but, I mean, but you know, we're going to play the age game. Right. Start with Don't him. play the age game when I'm around. Well. Buddy, but... <laughs> oh. My age, that's it. My age. we got to go on the road together. Right. I'm There's telling you. There's been a lot of leaders recently who haven't left in time, whether it's, um, you know, RBG, whether it's a queen, and they basically created problems that were terrible later on. I mean, you know, why is... We are that. Well, the royal family was infantilized by the fact... The Queen was power. basically the female William Shatner, where the older and... she got, the older... <laughs> I, I will explain, I will explain. The older she got, the more popular she became and the wiser she grew. And so, right? question, if she had actually... And the better she looked in a dress. Sorry. If you done earlier, do you not think that Prince Charles and the rest of the royal family would have had to grow up quicker? You no, I think Charles like... is doing a great job. He just, unfortunately, he's been stricken with a, with a serious illness. But actually, no, I don't... I actually believe in experience. What do you mean, doing a great job? What does he do? What's the job? <laughs> <laughs> but what's the, you said he's doing a great job. What I don't you know. You think what, your leaders are any better? No, no, no. What? Well, first of all, they're not your leaders. But what? Con, you said what? Con, I want to know what constitutes doing a great job. I actually when think, that's your job. I think the biggest mistake your country ever made was getting rid of the monarchy, because if you kept it, you could have had King Piers by now. And... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He likes that idea. Well, I don't. <laughs> they, provide a, they provide a comfort blanket to the nation, which I think is underrated. And I think the, the, the way that you, you see the political divide in this country, and there's no one above the political fray to just bring everyone together at the right moment, as the Queen did in the COVID well, pandemic. They're, they're, well, there's Taylor Swift. Well, Taylor they're... Swift. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are precisely above everybody else. That's, yes. that's why there's another one in here about the royal family. I, <laughs> okay. I swear to God. And that was my point. It's like, I will never say to somebody, Your Highness. I had some, a royal person on the show, not from your country, and I refuse to say it. Your Highness? Are you kidding? What could be more illiberal than that? When saying uh, to another human being... Well, actually, I, I did notice okay. you, didn't, you didn't give in her full title, which is nah. uh, OBE, Order I'll of the British about Empire. That, yeah. Awarded by say... the royal family. But that's not the same thing. As I don't call her Your Highness. I don't. I don't you can try. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> Will Biden agree to debate Trump? Should he? Let's turn to you first. Oh, okay. oh, 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 wise one. Yes. Will Biden agree to debate Trump? And should he? That is a good question. Yes. He will. You think he will? Uh, uh, I just said yes. You can. <laughs> That is... He did answer the question. No, there are, <laughs> believe me, I'm old enough to know there are some bad things about aging, but one of the great things is you just get to be cranky. <laughs> <laughs> you just do. It is just, it's so wonderful. I mean, you just get that pass. Um, well, I think he will. I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be bad on Biden. 
if he goes into the debate. I mean, I've said it before, they're almost the same age, but for some reason, Trump just doesn't present as old and feeble, and he does, he, he looks, he kind of looks the same. He's Trump a, would destroy, destroy him in a live debate. It destroy would, him? He would destroy said. Biden in a live debate. I, I've got no, I mean, how many live press conferences has Joe Biden oh. done? Right. Well, yeah. uh, that's I true. mean, there's a reason they don't put him in front of a large gathering of the media right. for a sustained period of time taking questions. Right. There's a reason. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Well, he doesn't have to answer in a debate, which he hasn't in the other debates. Mm. He just doesn't answer the question or the, the subject. He that's says true. He wants Biden to or Trump? Either huh? one of them. I mean, right. that's the truth. They're not really debates, mm. ever. I mean, we haven't really had debates. They're both on the stage. They ask a question. They say whatever they want. They talk over each other. Mm. Um, or, in his case, talk behind each other. Then. Right, Trump does that. <laughs> but, and... 